This is one of our uh, Tuesday tutorial uh, webinar series uh, presentations. We've done uh, these since January this year and continuing back now with drawings. Uh, last month we talked about masonry and wood and uh, but we want to continue with a few more of these on drawing setup and so today we hope you learn uh, a lot about uh, aspects of setting up drawing sheets and, and views and the different settings that they have. So today's agenda is going to be on discussing the drawing properties hierarchy as well as the drawing sheet settings, the view settings, and then also some uh, setup macros that we have available uh, to help you with uh, managing uh, your sheet and view settings. Note that one of our uh, help documents available uh, on this topic is our first steps uh, tutorial uh, that's on our website. So that's at tackle.com slash first steps. And I'll be showing some of this today, uh, but there's a section on, you know, the, mo the modeling and the drawings. Within drawings, there's three topics here, drawing properties, hierarchy, GA drawing properties, and drawing view properties that I'm going to be talking about some of the same information that's there. Uh, but I encourage you to go through those uh, interactive tutorials um, and even all the drawing interactive tutorials. Uh, there's a lot of valuable information there for you. So the drawing properties hierarchy. There's three different levels of drawing settings that you can uh, establish on a given drawing in Tecla. You have the uh, drawing level, you have the view level, and you have the object level settings. And there's a hierarchy involved with this. And as this diagram shows, the, the drawing level settings are kind of like the weakest setting, meaning, meaning that they can be trumped by the view setting uh, settings, and the object level settings have the strongest influence and in that they will supersede the view settings and the drawing settings. And just to illustrate this, I am actually going to uh, open up the first steps tutorials uh, under the drawing properties hierarchy and actually show you the, the section on this that actually has uh, information on the drawing hierarchy. So here I'm looking at the three different properties of drawing, view, and object level settings. And now I've come to this green interface which shows uh, a kind of a symbolic representation of a drawing with four views and there's two objects in each of those views. So if I double click on the drawing properties, notice that this, the name of the drawing properties is General Arrangement Drawing Properties and I'm going to modify those with say some arbitrary setting that turns it yellow symbolically. So if I go ahead then and modify the view properties somehow, that turns the view orange as well as all the objects in that view. And then if I modify, double click on the object properties, here I have the dialog that comes up called drawing part properties. So now I have the object level uh, view. If I modify settings there, that particular object turns red. So now these settings at the object level are the strongest. They will take priority and actually always will take priority over everything else that I might modify at the view or the drawing level. So for example, if I double click on the view again, and if I modify some property about the view, it turns that blue and the other object blue that was not modified at the object level. And then same thing if I double click on the sheets level and modify the properties there, even the view settings and the object settings and all the settings that were not modified or customized, those change per those high level uh, settings. So you're going to see this common theme as we go through the uh, presentation today that the uh, setting things up at the at the drawing 
and the and the view level get you so far, but really the to get very specific on object level classifications, uh, you know that really will be done at the uh, object level. The drawing sheet properties are also called the general arrangement drawing properties are set up through a dialog box as you see before you and you as customers you know that there are a lot of dialog boxes uh, available uh, and it can kind of be overwhelming for users uh, new users to uh, to know what they actually have to set up and so what we've shown here with the dialog boxes circled in red are really the key dialog boxes that we see that you need to be working with in setting up and then using uh, or creating uh, your drawing sheets. So that's the, the name and titles, the layouts, dimensions, dimensioning, and the protection and the user-defined attributes. So now I'm going to go through it and talk about uh, each of those. And so the first two that I wanted to talk about are the, uh, the sheet name and title as well as the user defined attributes because these ones are going to be used like every like well, on every project that's going to they're going to be changing and then every sheet obviously is going to be different the sheet name and title will be di different every time and so the user will be going in and changing those key fields every time and whereas the user defined attributes is where uh, things such as who's actually checking the drawing, creating the drawing, reviewing the drawing, those initials will be placed uh, within the user-defined attributes. So now I'm going to uh, going into the Tecla model. Uh, within my, uh, if I have existing drawings, here I'm just going to go up and open up the, the properties, the GA properties, and here I can see my name and, and title information is, is in here. And that information shows up in my drawing list as well, under the title, name and title. And then I can also see the user-defined attributes of who's checked the drawing, drawn it, and designed it. That information is shown up here within the user-defined attributes. And I go to the Workflow tab. Here, the user, as a user, you have the ability to change this to... So if I wanted to go in and change this drawing here, I can see that that updated up in my, my drawing list. 